what we were trying to do is we were trying to see whether playing games was going to be more beneficial in terms of post-work recovery um, than mindfulness apps, which are often kind of sold as being something that would be useful in that kind of situation. Overall, what we found was that uh, games do outperform mindfulness in terms of their uh, effects on post-work recovery. Post-work recovery is quite a specific kind of process. It's relaxation, psychological detachment, which is when you sort of no longer think about work, um, a sense of mastery, so the sense that you're kind of getting better at something, that you've got skills outside of work, and also a sense of control, so a sense that you're kind of able to control how you spend your spare time. So although mindfulness might be good for relaxation, because that's often kind of how it gets brought up, it's like kind of something to kind of, you know, like relax you and sort of like, you know, calm yourself. Um, it might not kind of meet the other requirements in the same way that video games might. So video games tend to be quite immersive. So that means that you have uh, it would sort of promote psychological detachment because you wouldn't really be thinking about work anymore. You can get better. You kind of get these like internal rewards as part of games. Um, and also you've got a real sense of control in that kind of virtual environment. So I suppose one of the big things about this research is that it does also highlight that you need to be able to enjoy um, the game. So if you don't enjoy it, so if, if you are someone who's very disparaging of these sorts of games and the only game you'll play is like a gigantic, you know, sort of, you know, World of Warcraft type situation and, you know, if someone gives you Tetris, you're not going to enjoy it, then that might not have the same kind of effect. But um, ultimately, yeah, something that you can dip in and out of, something you can just kind of play 10 minutes of if you, if you have an opportunity. I think that kind of thing seems like it would be useful based on our research.